moments ago, the women's figure skating competition concluded with a victory ceremony and a medal ceremony to come. It comes after controversial Russian skater Kamila Valieva failed to medal. The star visibly nervous, stumbling several times, falling twice. Valieva, of course, tested positive for three heart drugs in December, one of which was a banned substance setting off a huge controversy. I want to bring in NBC's Scotty Schwartz, who is covering this story. It would be hard to overstate what a stunning development this is. Tell us what we saw this morning and how this drama is all playing out. Yeah, I think everyone that watched it live is still processing what we saw. It was it was the saddest moment at the Olympics I think I've ever seen. It was the crumbling of a 15-year-old on the ice with the entire world watching. Camila Valieva falling apart in jump after jump after being flawless for so long, just wrecked with emotion and despair, and then leaving the ice in tears. Her coach's words immediately afterwards seemed to be of criticism. And, Chris, let me just describe what happened Wait, after what, that. What, what, what her coach then like, did what? Yeah, instead of instead of the, the hugs and the consolation, what you saw after that just, it, it shocked everybody. You see her teammate, Alexandra Trusova, breaking down, crying as well. It's unclear why she was crying, but Chris, you have to understand that Alexandra had just won silver. She should have been celebrating. She hit a historic five quads, uh, something that's never <laughs> been done, and yet she was sobbing in Russian saying, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to the podium. Meanwhile, the winner of the gold in all of this, Anna Sherbapova, uh, she was off by herself standing alone as the coaches Tineda Valiva and Alexandra. So the gold medalist there standing with no one to hug her. The commentators, Tara Lipinski and Johnny Weir, I mean, they put to words what so many people were feeling, saying this was a child that should have been shielded, should have been protected by the adults yes. in her life. She should have never been allowed to compete. And in the end, she didn't make the podium, which meant her two teammates in Japan will receive their medals uh, after what's going to go down as one of the most tragic performances in ice skating history.